last day we have created our footer with the social media icons and we have added hover effect with that and today we will add search bar in our books page and we will remove some styling and modify them with some other styling here inside the table header we will add some color so let's click on this and then go to inspect and then here let's go to our table row here you see the styling background color is white so we will change this color so let's click on this square box and then choose a color then copy the hex code and inside the table row we will just paste this color ok now there is no other table header only this one so we will just save this and refresh the page You can see that everything is all right so we will just add our search bar now we will add the search bar after the body tag on top of everything on that books page so we will start by writing a comment so we can find this letter if we need it okay so now we will start by writing a div box here inside that we will start our form this form will have only one input and one button and there let's add some class name and styling and form name here the class name will be navbar and then form navbar form and then we will add method which will be post then the form name will be form1 and now inside this form we will add an input first let's create another div box and inside this we will add input and here type will be text and name will be search then after this there will be placeholder where we will write search for book or search books ok then we will add another button here We can add another input and add button class or we can just add button tag and then the type will be submit the name will also be submit and then we will add our button class bootstrap class this will be button and button default ok so now let's see how it looks like if we refresh the page you can see that there is our form with one button and one input box ok now let's add some styling here let's add some class bootstrap class inside the input there will be our form control ok now you will see the styling will change ok now it's look alright so now we just need to change the button 
here in the button styling we will add the background color and the color will be exactly same as the header of our table so we will use that code now let's see how it looks like okay you see the color is changed so now inside this button tag we need to write it inside these tags then here we will create a span and we will add a class name here that will be Glyphicon And another one will be Clipicon search. You can find these classes inside W3 School if you go to Bootstrap and find search for the Clipicon class name, you will find many others. You can use any of them wherever you need them. Now you can see that there is a search icon inside the button. So okay, we just delete this div box. We don't need that. We will be needing the only div box outside that form. We will add a class here inside the first div box and let's name it search. Okay, we will write it shortly. Okay, we need to add double quotation and then need to write class equal to search. Okay, so now we can just style this class name and we will add some margin or some padding and take the search box to the right corner of our web page so let's write the class name don't forget to add the dot sign and then inside the second bracket we will add the styling we will add padding so padding left we will add let's say thousand pixel and then save this and okay you can see that the search button is actually on the right side and now this is complete now if we search for something we need to show that book inside that books page not all the books from the database so we will write our query and after this button whenever the button will be pressed here a query will run where we will search for the books that the user will write inside that box or form so here the button if the button is pressed then something will happen so here for the so for checking if the button is pressed or not we will use is set function and then inside this dollar underscore post and then inside the third bracket there will be a single quotation and we will add our button name that is submit So whenever that submit button is pressed, we need to run a query. Whatever inside this, okay, we need to make this box required. We need to add required property there or else if somebody does not write anything and click on the button still there, they will show us some output. So we need to add required inside our input. Now if we don't um, write anything inside the box, they will ask us to fill this box first and then click on the button. So now it's alright. Now we will write our query and here we will go to our database. Inside that we will go to our table. Okay, here is our books table. We need the column name for writing the query. Okay, so we will check the name and match the name with the name that is user inserting into the form. So for that we need to write, let's say a variable dollar $q. 
equal to mysql i underscore query then first bracket and inside this we will first add our connection variable dollar sign db then comma and inside this double quotation we will add our query and the query will be select star that means select everything from the books table so select star from books make sure the table name is all right and you have written it correctly or else they won't find the book and you will find some error so select star from books where name and this name will be equal to the column name of your books table you need to write it exactly in the same way so where name like and for searching something or for searching something alike to something that user will input inside the form we need to use like function and like keyword so here we will use like and for using that we need to write it in this format inside a single quotation we need to add percentage and then dollar underscore post then inside third bracket we will write the name of our form or the input box the where the user will give input and then end it with another percentage sign here inside the form our input name is search you see this name we will use this name inside that variable okay make sure they are written correctly if you spell them wrong then they will not find that box and you will get error so now inside this if we will add another if function and if condition here for condition we will add mysqli underscore number underscore rows by this row we will see how many rows matched with the name that the user have inserted here is our query and after running this query they will see if any row has matched with the data or not and if no data matched that means the number of row will be zero so we will write an error message on that the books have not been found so we will write echo and then inside second quotation we will give the message that will be sorry and then let's write no books found okay so if no data will match any name from the table books then we will do that and if any row match with the data that means if it is not zero the number of no row is not zero after running the query dollar q then we will show that output so for showing the output we can just copy from here the table tag the complete table tag and after going to end of the table we will copy this part and then paste it inside this else condition so if any row is found we will show this inside the table we just need to change one thing inside our while loop here we have used the variable dollar sign result but here our query is dollar sign q so we will use this variable instead of that variable okay so dollar sign q now this part was if the button is pressed okay you can see if you have given any bracket any extra bracket or if you need any other 
bracket to close so check them properly everything is correctly given so yeah that's all right if the button is pressed then this table will be shown and the result will be shown like this so if the button is not pressed then something will happen so here we are writing that condition okay let's write in and comment here let's write a comment here so we can find it later okay inside php we need to write comment like this Okay, so after this we will go to else and here if nothing is found then the page will look exactly like this so we can just move this inside that else condition so if nothing is searched then okay the table will show every book from the database okay we need to add the semicolon properly so we have added and open and close every tag properly okay there is an error syntax error so i have missed some semicolon maybe let's go to line 68 okay the previous line i have missed the semicolon here now let's just press on this again okay now you can see that um, we have not pressed our search button so here we are seeing the database and every book from there now if we search on something let's say electric electronic and they will search for name similar to this okay there is another error here okay so i wrote the function name in a wrong manner so let's just change it left is in the line 36 i missed the i this will be my sql i underscore num underscore rows and now let's search again let's say we will just give elect and you see they just search for this name and they have found this data and if we give data and the press the button then you will see the data structure book is here that's how when the book will be there will be many books in the library so if anyone want to search for one particular book that they know the name they can just search it by using this search button and if they don't don't search for any book if they just press on the navigation bar then they will see every book from the database